Whoa. Hi, hello, and welcome to the video. There's a Doyle hair right here. Ha, I got it. Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, it's Financial Friday, and since I've completed the FPU class, I will leave my playlist down below for you guys. I attended Financial Peace University, which is this bad boy right here, and all things Dave Ramsey. So I figured I would answer some questions because throughout my financial peace journey, which I posted about every single lesson that I attended in video format, and a lot of you had questions down below. So the most commonly asked question was, do I disagree with Dave? That is the million dollar question, and I will tell you Yes, yes I do. So this video is going to be all about what I disagree with with the Dave Ramsey program. If you guys don't wanna watch it or decide that you just are just gonna ridicule me in the comments, just click out, just click out. I feel like, and being 100% honest here, and I'm honest in all of my videos, but I'm just being really honest here, I feel like this program is fantastic. I wouldn't be in the financial position that I'm in without this program. Um, obviously I went through FPU just recently, but I have known about the baby steps for a couple of years and I've been working um, the baby steps and things like that. So this is in no way bashing the Dave Ramsey program and system, but I feel like this can work for anybody in any situation. And I'm a big believer in it's not about how much you make, it's what you do with it. If you're motivated to make more money or motivated to get out of debt or motivated to save or motivated to give or whatever your motivation is, the money will come. So that being said, let's talk about my disagreements with Dave. And I actually um, opened this up here. This has all of the baby steps. It's really about the baby steps is what I'm going to be not necessarily disagreeing with, but kind of giving my own take on them. So here we go. So baby step three is three to six months worth of expenses in a savings account. Um, I disagree with that. I am a big believer in six months. The reason being is I'm single and I don't have anybody else's income that I am relying on. So to me, three months would be extremely uncomfortable for me. Six months feels better. And I know Dave has said this many times, it's really about what makes you comfortable for your family. So say someone's like a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home dad, and then you have the other partner that's the breadwinner, sometimes six months feels a little bit better. I'm kind of in that situation where it's just me. So if I get injured, disabled, something happens to me, it makes me nervous. So six months is what works for me, not three months. Also, this is not a real baby step, but it kind of is a baby step. It's baby step 3B, which is saving 20% down for a house or just a house down payment. Um, I am a big believer in 20% down because you don't have to pay the PMI. Uh, Dave says if it's your first home, he's not mad at you if you only put down 10%. However, that just wouldn't really work for me. Um, I would just be really mad every single month I would write out my mortgage payment. So um, if any of you have been following my journey um, on the YouTubes, you know that I am actually looking for a home right now and I am very, very close to figuring that out. So that's gonna be talked about in the future, hopefully, if everything works out. But yes, 20% down is, I feel like, a good goal, and I really wanted 20% down, which I now have, and that is what's gonna be happening with the house situation. Speaking of mortgages, let's talk about this for a second. So, Dave says 15 year fixed, and no more than one fourth of your take home pay. All right, we disagree a little bit. Again, because I'm single. If I were married, I would probably do exactly what Dave said. But since I am single, I have to give it to my give it from my perspective. I'm doing something that's very sacrilege. I am gonna be getting a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. I know, I know, but hear me out. The reason why I'm doing that for me is my plan is to pay it off early. And I know there's gonna be haters in the comments saying, eh, you're never gonna pay it off early, whatever. I don't wanna hear about it, you can just click out. Please click out. But my issue is, because it's just me, I'm gonna have my six months emergency fund, which will be great. However, if something happens to me, I lose my job, again, I get disabled, I 
get injured, something happens where I don't have a steady income for a while, I want to feel like that six months emergency fund will go a little bit farther, if that makes sense. Um, I just don't want to put myself in that financial position as well as I want to be able to pay off my mortgage early. So I am doing something that's very untraditional and I am going to have a renter in my home. Haven't picked the renter yet. Um, I am going to find a stranger that won't be a stranger after a while. And um, you guys will actually end up seeing like the whole setup and everything before I have a renter or a roommate move in and I will be showing you um, like their space before they move in anything and maybe I'll talk about a little bit more about like my process to find a good renter um, when I get to that point it's gonna be a little bit farther down I'm gonna probably be in the home for at least a month or two before I start looking for a renter so I'm obviously gonna be able to afford it all on my own the renter is gonna be gravy on the top and that's how I'm gonna pay my mortgage off early as well as treating it like almost a 10-year mortgage not a 30-year mortgage also the next thing is credit cards okay so full disclosure here I have a credit card I know, I know, I have a credit card. But here's the thing. So I did some research on how long it takes from your credit to go from where it is down to zero. And that can typically take anywhere from a year and a half to two and a half years. It kind of just depends. However, this one credit card that I have, I put a gallon, not a gallon, but one fill up of gas per month and then that's it. So I just maintain my credit score, which is very important right now as I'm trying to purchase a home. So it would take a really long time for that to get from as high as it is right now, I guess I should do it this way, high as it is right now to zero to get a manual underwrite. So once I actually get the house, I probably won't even be using my credit card anymore, honestly. So that is something I disagree with right now, but just because I'm in that position. If I wasn't planning on buying a home, say in the next five years, I probably will get rid of my credit card and cancel it and just wait till my credit all went to zero. I, I, that's probably what I would do. But I'm not in that position and I'm ready to buy now, so I gotta kinda maintain it. And again, one fill up of gas a month, that's all that's happening on that bad boy. And then of course I pay it off in full every month. Duh. So I know that's super sacrilege to do a 30 year, but I'm gonna do it in my situation because again, I don't have a double, you know, income from two producing people and things like that. So I feel like that's right for me, but I'm also being smart about it by putting 20% down. And those are all the things that I disagree with from Dave. That's it. It's not very many things, honestly. I do feel like giving is a great thing and should be a great thing. As many of you know that have been watching my channel for a while, I am a non-religious person. I understand that this is a religious-based program. However, all religion is really based on being kind to one another and I have found other ways to be charitable with giving and things like that that don't require a church or a synagogue or any kind of religious affiliation that makes me feel good on the inside as well as helps out you know my fellow man as well. So giving is a big thing for me now. Um, I started doing it pretty consistently like since December and um, I feel like the more I give, like the more I receive in, which is kind of odd, but is happening. So that's actually a really, really great thing. And um, it makes me feel good, you know, it makes me feel really good. So I really agree with that point of it. I mean, even if it's just giving of your time, say you're on baby step one or baby step zero or even baby step two and you just don't have any extra money, that's okay, you can still possibly give of your time, and sometimes that's even more valuable than just writing a check to an organization. So I'm getting totally off topic here, but I just wanted to share with you some of my Dave disagreements. I know many of you have been asking, and I haven't really alluded to any of them in the comments when you guys have asked the question, so I figured I would just address it in this video. Make sure to stay tuned to Financial Friday next week. I'm gonna recap the whole series of Financial Peace University and give you 
you all of my thoughts and I'm actually going to be doing a collab video with one of my friends on YouTube as well. You guys seem to really like um, on Monday I did a collab video with uh, Gia from Marriage and Motherhood. I'll leave the video link below if you guys are interested in watching but a lot of you seem to really like that collab video so I think I'm going to do more in the future. And if you guys have other YouTubers that you think would fit with me um, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll reach out to some of them or if you're a YouTuber, you can reach out to me as well and maybe we can do a collab video too if our brands kind of sync up together. So anyway, I am going to go. I have to edit and upload this video tonight to get it ready for tomorrow because I'm a slacker and didn't film this video last weekend. Okay, okay, don't tell anybody. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Doyle, Doyle, you see the dog? <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you. I will also leave the Dave Ramsey website down below as well. If you want to learn more about Financial Peace University or anything like that, I highly, highly recommend his program. It works wonders and is amazing. So that is it for me. I will talk to you all in my next video.